Okay, here's our fretboard layout. And we triad patterns, roots on top, third down and back one, and then the fifth is back two and down one, roots in the middle, fifth is above it, third down and back one, and the roots at the bottom, fifth above, the third is up one and over two. So let's just put all our C's in here. There are our octaves. If you check out my video on the fretboard and octaves, I'll link that. Put a card here if you want to check that out. You don't have to, but you know, you're not cool if you, unless you do it. It can be pretty lame if you don't. Anyhow, back to our C's. Okay, so we got that C. B string pushes everything forward. So our first triad is here. And then that's our C. Fifth above it's the G. And the third, the two over, right? So then we have another triad here. And then roots in the middle, fifths above it. We have another triad here. That's our C shape, D shape, and going to a C shape. And if we go to our next octave, get the fifth above it, third down and back, but the B string pushes it forward. And that's our A shape triad. And then the roots in the mid top, uh, third below, it, and the fifth is back here. And then we have another triad here. Bottom, fifth above, third to over there. And then if that's our A shape, this, this brings us to our G shape. We have another triad there. This one, fifth above it. Got pushed forward by the B string, so the third ends up being there. shape and let's go to our next octave and we actually have one right there and we also have another uh, triad there that's our E shape and then we also have another triad there This back to back to our D shape. And we get that triad, and then we have this triad. Yep. This one, this one. So, okay, so we've got our D shape here. That spell. 
Tegak.